Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable NVIDIA G-Sync on the MSI G274F gaming monitor. Now, I've actually struggled with this because I'm completely new to G-Sync and I think you guys are as well because you clicked on this video. Now, as you guys can see, we're quickly going to go to the NVIDIA app. You guys should probably have this installed on your PC. If you don't, please install it because this app is also used to optimize your games and to update your drivers as you guys can see g-sync is not available even this mo even though this monitor actually supports nvidia g-sync which is pretty weird it's 1080p and it supports 180 hertz if you guys know about this monitor you know so over here the first problem we have is the hdmi cable okay so make sure you are not connecting a hdmi cable to this monitor because this monitor only supports hdmi 2.0 and not hdmi 2.1 so in that case that does not support variable refresh rate or nvidia g-sync so do not worry guys so make sure to use a display port for the nvidia g-sync that's actually what i thought could be the problem and there are two more things you can actually try so we'll get into that right now to find the perfect solution for you guys right now we're quickly gonna go into the monitor settings over here you guys can see the monitor from the side over here you're gonna turn the monitor if you don't have a vase amount don't worry i'll link one in the description but if you guys have a stand you guys will see this red button at the back we're quickly going to press that it's always like a joystick you guys probably know about it because you've had this monitor you're gonna press that you're gonna go to the right side now you're gonna scroll directly down as you guys can see this setting is hidden over here it's called adaptive sync this actually needs to be turned on and i really didn't expect that to be such a simple error but over here we're gonna turn on adaptive sync and it looks to be turned on right now now guys go back to your nvidia app and we're gonna see if it's actually going to work so over here i just want to show you guys also make sure your drivers are updated sometimes this could cause trouble if it's not so as you guys can see i have the latest nvidia driver for my graphics card and there you go g-sync is now available isn't that great make sure to put this one on full screen and windowed uh for the settings the best settings for this monitor now quickly gonna go to this options over here make sure resolution is on 1080p pc not the native option or you will only get 120 hertz this will give you 180 hertz on the monitor over here scaling not that important these settings really don't matter all that much but yeah there you go g-sync is now enabled and you guys can actually have lower latency better like um performance on your monitor and pc which is a lot better than to not have it enabled and i've already i already saw when i was playing fortnite with my controller even if you connected bluetooth like blu wirelessly with bluetooth and actually there is like a way lower input delay guys or latency so definitely enable this option if you guys didn't uh already and hopefully this helped you guys out if you guys had a similar problem with a monitor like this or this particular model but uh yeah that's basically my knowledge and how i figured out this problem thank you guys so much for watching make sure to check out the links in the description if you guys want to get this monitor or the base amount i'll also also link down the um, bluetooth adapter if you guys want to connect your controller wirelessly but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out